straining while passing urine, straining while passing stools, all these are predisposing factors which may increase one's chance of developing a recurrence or even a primary hernia. Hi, I'm Dr. Deepak Subramanian from Chennai GastroCare. Many times off late, I've started to see patients who've had a surgery for a hernia before and now they've come back to me with similar symptoms. Now, when I think back, when I see these patients, uh, I want to examine them. Before I examine them, I try to talk to them as to why probably they could have developed a recurrence. Now, what is a recurrence? Basically, a recurrence is if somebody has developed a hernia in an already operated site. That is, if there is a hernia before, they've undergone a surgery and again they've developed a hernia, it's called as a recurrent hernia. Now, why does one develop recurrence? I think the worldwide, the, you know, the treatment for hernia is standardized and why should one develop recurrence? We generally categorize them into two factors, surgeon factors, patient factors. Now, surgeon factors include things like patients, I mean, the surgeon's experience uh, of surgery, what type of surgery was performed, in what setting it was performed, and many other aspects. We won't go into those details. But more importantly, for me, when I see a patient with a recurrence, I want to rule out the patient factors. The patient factors, meaning what are the predisposing conditions a patient could have which may increase the chance that may, they may develop a hernia. Now, this could include a patient who has chronic cough. He's coughing constantly. He may have an underlying lung problem or a respiratory problem and he's chronically coughing. When, he, when one person coughs, it increases the intra-abdominal pressure and that possibly could lead to a hernia or a recurrence. Similarly, things that increase the intra-abdominal pressure like cough, like straining while passing urine, straining while passing stools, all these are predisposing factors which may increase one's chance of developing a recurrence or even a primary hernia. So I want to rule out all these factors and then only again take up this patient for a recurrent hernia repair. Can recurrent hernia repairs be corrected? Definitely it can be corrected, of course, in a different manner compared to the previous surgery that was done. So generally, if a person has undergone a surgery in a particular way, we don't try to go in that particular way and we do it in a completely different way because there are various different approaches towards treating a hernia and so that this particular patient should not develop another recurrence and that's what is in our mind mostly while treating these hernias. Thank you.